Justin Thoreau shows Jennifer Aniston some love after she reveals her past struggles to get pregnant. And Jen, she's opening up even more, admitting she hates social media and has some issues with fame. What you resist persists. So I'm, I also think, you know, it's something that is a part of our world now and it does, it's not going away and how you can actually kind of have a little bit more of control over the narrative that's out there um, and right some wrongs and some silly things that we, God knows, that are said often. Sounds intriguing. The actress made headlines on Wednesday, opening up for the first time about her fertility journey in a cover story for Allure magazine, explaining that she tried everything to get pregnant, including IVF, calling it a challenging road and really hard. Making it even more difficult, the public narrative that she only cared about her career and didn't want children, something Jen says was, quote, absolute lies. It's unexplainable. Of course, Jen was married to Brad Pitt from 2000 to 2005. We can do it all, we'll sleep, we'll sleep when we're 80. And Justin from 2015 to 2017. I got a good one. I got a sweet, kind man, yeah. And after Jen posted some snaps from the cover story to Instagram, Justin swooped into the comments to show his support with two simple emojis, a fist bump and a heart. It's a good thing. But when it comes to online platforms, Jen says she's not a fan. Quite bluntly, she says, I hate social media. I'm not good at it. For this next portion, we're going to have to put on some goggles. When Jen joined Instagram back in 2019, she admitted she was reluctant, but finally took the plunge when she got tired of people telling her to do it. Oh, and no big deal, she gained a million followers in her first five hours. And today, she has 40 million plus. It's sort of bizarre, huh? Yeah. But even with all those adoring fans, Jen says being online is torture for her, and it doesn't come naturally. I mean, it just goes against every single thing the particle in my being. And according to Jen, with the rise of social media also comes a major shift in the entertainment industry. Quote, I feel like it's dying. There are no more movie stars. There's no more glamour. And she theorizes that the lack of technology when her massively successful sitcom Friends was on the air may have something to do with why it's still so popular today. Quote, we really loved each other and we took care of each other. I don't know why it still resonates. There are no iPhones, it's just people talking to each other. Do you guys have to go to the new house right away or do you have some time? We got some time. Okay, should we get some coffee? Sure. Okay. Where? And all that echoes what Jen told E.T. last year ahead of the highly anticipated Friends reunion. There was something that was laid down at the very, very beginning that kind of went into our neural pathways that we instantly, it was in our DNA that we were family, we were going to take care of each other. We're the most grateful women that I know who have been able to be a part of something like this.